Hello everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome back to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm opening a lot that I won on Shop Goodwill, and honestly, it's been a couple weeks since I've gotten it because things have been crazy, so I have not even checked. I don't remember what it was. That's how it's been going for, for me and for things around here. So we're gonna rip into this bag. Oh, it was one of those grandma lots, I remember now. I remember now. I like to do the search for the grandma lots. All right, let's make sure we don't have my name and my address, rather. Yeah, my name is whatever, it's fine. Okay, so this was a small two pound batch lot of grandma's jewelry. I paid $20.75, if you can see that. Why is my lighting so weird? It's pretty really dark. Oh well. And then um, shipping was $6.61 and handling was $2. Now, on the last lot that I did that I opened from Shop Goodwill, there were a couple comments that, you know, were, were urging, were saying like, oh, I'm sorry, Pancake, good golly. Um, you know, that you've got to be careful about shipping because there are some times with Shop Goodwill where if you don't, before you start bidding, check to see what the shipping price is gonna be because sometimes they do, they get you with the shipping and it's crazy. So definitely before you put a bid in on something, check that shipping first to see what it's gonna cost you. And some of them do handling and some of them don't, you know. So this was $2 handling. And let's see what we got. I, I cannot even remember. All right, so let me get a little sippy sippy here. So here we've got this box. It's pretty rusty. As you can probably see, again, the lighting is funkadoodle. Funkadoodle lighting, but that's cool, man. It's better than no lighting at all. And we are opening it up. It is bubble wrapped inside, a little bit funky. All right, so there's this. Let's dive in. So first up, we have this horse roach. Let me zoom down so you can see better. So that's, here we go. Let me try to scoot it so you can kind of see. No, maybe you don't need to see that part, I don't know. Okay, so first up, we've got this little horse brooch. And I'm gonna try to fix the lighting a little bit better, if I can. There, all right, so let's look at it. I mean, it looks like it's got like a shiny finish along the edge and then kind of a matte finish on the horse. It's got a little short tail. Does that make it a quarter horse? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but it's cute. There are horse people out there. I know people who are horse people. So I'll have to find out what it means with a little short tail like that. It is totally magnetic. All right, so that's cool. That's the first piece. The second one, I saw this right out of the gate. We've got this German Shepherd painted brooch. Now I need to see, do I think he's hand done or if I or do I think he's a like a transfer, you know what I mean? My grandmother did porcelain arts and she would get so offended when anybody said, oh, is that a transfer? Oh my gosh. Don't ask a porcelain artist if they do transfers because no. I'm gonna look at it real close and see. I have a feeling it's a transfer because normally you would see like a signature if somebody was an artist, they would have signed it down here. So yeah, it's a, it's a transfer. Here's how I can tell, you ready? So when I'm looking like around his mouth, uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it because the light. But I can see, you know when you've got like old printed stuff, there's like a dot matrix, you know what I mean? Or like pop art. You know, and if you know what pop art is that's got like little dots and it's like art formed from little teeny dots. When you look at it up close, you can see those little dots, like all in his mouth especially because they're doing shading, you know? Um, let me see if I can get it for you. So, I'm not sure you can see that or not. But, uh, so yeah, that tells me that this was not hand painted, but still, there are people that like, I think that's a German Shepherd. Oh, next up, we have this really pretty, let's see, is that a daffodil? Or is that a, what do we think? Do we think that's a an orchid? I think that's an orchid. So we've got this Closinet orchid, 
with all the glare on it because the light's just gonna be weird. So Closinate Orchid brooch. That's really pretty. I'm gonna move that. Pancake is just being a pill right now, so he's gonna be loud. What's up, Pancake? I know, you poor thing. Yes. All right, so there's that. And there's the back on it. I'll set it down so you can get a better look. Funky lights. Look, if I scoot the lights away so you can see it, it gets all dark. Let me try lightening it up on here. And then it looks all freaky. Well, maybe it's a little better. Okay. But now it's not focusing. There we go. Now it's focused. Maybe the lights will be better now. Okay, so there's that. So that's three pieces. Not so bad. Next up, we've got this flag brooch. It's got some little dead rhinestones in it, so it'll probably just go into a craft lot. Okay. And let's see if we can find something that doesn't have a, I'm looking for something that has its mate with it. That's some earrings. I'm setting earrings to the side till I find mates. Then, oh my gosh, we've got like a jelly belly. Let's take a peek at this. Look at this little turtle, you guys. So technically, oh, this is old, y'all. This is old. Okay, so take a look. Now, it's got that sort of jelly belly style cabochon on it. It's a little turtle. And when you flip it over, there's the back. Here's how I could tell too that it's old. It's got a C-clasp on it. And I'm not seeing any maker's mark. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's that. Look at him. I'm worried you can't see like, I need more light through to see him, to see the redness of his I'm trying to tell if this is, yeah, it's plastic. I'm gonna rub it, cause I'm like, it's really old. Like, super cool. No markings that I can see. And then the style of the C-clasp. That is really, really cool. I'm gonna rub this and see if it has a smell to it. No, no odor. I don't smell anything. Oh, he's adorable. I think this will pay for my whole lot, honestly. This little cute turtle. Are you kidding me? And he is a, you can see he's got little webbed feet. Little webbed, little webbed feet. Feetsies. So sweet. Okay. Look, I can't get over him, he's so cute. All right, another earring, I'm waiting for the mate. Put you over there, aha. I think I've had some of these before. Okay, so here are these earrings, red, white, and blue. They're clip-ons. And I feel like I've had some that were like this before. I'll have to go look. Next. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is an earring as well. Okay, get, that gets to go to the side and hang out. I thought it was a pendant. Ooh. All right, we've got another brooch here. And this one appears to be... B. I can't tell if that's supposed to be bent that way. So we've got a bunch of little flowers. I'm not exactly sure what kind they are. Like a cluster of, I don't know. I'm not sure what they are. Let me see if I can zoom in any closer. Maybe you can tell me. And that part kind of looks like it's a vase or the part that's busted open to let the flowers come out. And here is the back. There's no maker's mark on it either. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. That is different. If you know what kind of flower that is, leave me a comment, because I just don't think I know. Now that I've got it zoomed in, I'm gonna show you the turtle again, because look how cute he is. Isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh. Yes, he is. There's the back again. He wants to spin around. He's a, I can't get a hold of him. He's so adorable. That's a cutie little turtle. Cutie turtle. <laughs> I don't know where that voice came from. All right, next up, we've got these earrings. These are some clip-ons. 
They are very sparkly. Very sparkly earrings. Like so. Clippy clippy. Those are very blingy. They look like they're in pretty good shape. So that's good. Pretty good. I mean, there's something going on over there I'll have to look at. Maybe it just needs to be pushed back in. Yeah, I need to tighten that prong, that's all. So that's these ones. They won't lay flat because they're clip ones. Next, let's see, that's an earring I'm looking for the mate for. Another earring, waiting for mates. Okay, looks like we've got a silver ring here. <clears throat> we've got this silver ring with some marcasites coming all around and probably just like a rhinestone there in the middle. Let's see what, yeah, let's see what kind of marks we've got inside. It looks pretty rustic. You can see the foil backing on that stone too. I, I mean, it looks like it was, I don't know. It, it doesn't necessarily look like it was made by a master. Uh, it's nice though, I kind of like it. But yeah, I don't even see a 925 stamp in there. Mm hmm, interesting. It doesn't look polished down and really refined either, so that's pretty cool though. There it is. Now I feel like it's too bright. There we go. Cool. Cool. Then I've got another earring waiting for the mate. Oh, here's the mate for that one. So this is a couple of earrings that have little stars. They're like little discs. Like that. Like so. No marks again, which is fine. Magnetic. But they're nice. We'll see what I end up doing with those. Those are nice. Classy looking. Classy. Oh, okay, we've got another horse brooch. Another one that's done like this shepherd one. So we've got some horses, like a transfer type brooch. That's cool. So that'll sell. So I think easily we've made our money back. Oh, uh, this is cute. It is a little sewing machine. I'm trying to see if it says Singer on it. It looks like a little Singer sewing machine charm or something. They've, somebody's put a jump ring on it so you could put it on a necklace I guess or use it as a charm or a zipper pull or something so that does not spin. That would be cool if it did. But isn't that sweet? I like the little detailing on the arm and everything. There's the back. Let's see. There's the bottom. That is a sweet little thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll put I don't know. Should I put it put it on a necklace or a keychain? I'll let somebody else decide. I'll let the, the buyer decide. Let's see. I know, pancake, I know. Okay, here's the, these earrings. Let's look at these. These look... Now, when I talk about looking for things that are good quality, like these look like quality, and I don't even know what they are yet. So the reason I think they look like quality... I know, you're so loud. One, they feel like heavy, but, and then these little cabochons on the side are a nice uh, detail that you see sometimes in more like couture type jewelry that I've seen. These coins are nice. They are, let's see, Gratia, Regina, Elizabeth. So it's Queen Elizabeth, but I'm not sure. And then there is a, a um, cartouche down there, so let me see what that says. Panetta. So I'm gonna have to look that up because I don't know. Can you see that Panetta? I don't know that brand. And so, I, and I think there might be either a stone missing or a dead stone right there. I'll have to look. Yeah, it's a dead stone. But hang on. I'm not sure, you know, I mean, you think it's Queen Elizabeth, but I'm not sure about it being in another language. Anyway, I will look these up and see what they might be worth. Those are pretty cool, though. 
it may not even matter that it has one dead stone if it's a brand that's like, I mean, Panetta sounds Italian to me. So we shall find out, won't we? Yes, we will. Okay, next up we've got these cluster of pearl clip-ons. Also with no maker's mark. Maybe cluster of pearl clip-ons will make a comeback. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here are these little clip-ons. They're just, they seem like little cheapy ones. They, you know, the backings are kind of like that. And they've just got this kind of pot metal on the back of them. They look like this. They almost would be like shoe clips if they were spiky. <laughs> Next, we have got these little, try to get it away from my finger so you can see. Zoom in a little bit more. They are little blue beaded earrings that look like this. Of course, my nails are blue, so they're gonna blend in. These ones are pierced. They're interesting. Let's see. See the backs on them. So that's the back on these. They are beaded. Interesting. Like little seed beads. Cool. Those are actually kind of cute. That's interesting because they really look vintage and they look like they would be clip-ons because of the way they look, the way they're made. They look like the age is right for clip-ons, but then they're pierced. These ones are some screw backs. They don't want to come apart. Here they are. Oh, that's hot. Those are some bright lights now. So they're little plastic blue. Let me fix the lights a teensy bit. There we go. All right, so little plastic blue flowers. With it looks like they almost have the AB stone, Aurora Borealis stone in the center almost. I can't quite tell. Just a little rhinestone maybe, but there they go. All right, there they are. Those are sweet. Nice little feminine flowers. Cute. And we've got another ring. This one looks like it's got like a little blue topaz or aquamarine in it. Maybe a, probably a lab created. There is a mark in there. Let's see what it sells. This is Korea, seven. Korea, so it says seven and then Korea on there. Let's get our handy dandy magnet. Ooh, there she blows. Okay. And we have got <laughs> these little earrings that have, I guess they used to be like a hook there or a loop or something that maybe something else was hanging from because it's on both of them. And let's see what it says in there. Can we read it? I think it says patent pending. Patent pending, yep. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so there's those. I'll probably go into a lot. Next, we have these blue plastic flowers and they look disgusting. Look at all that crud in there. That's just gross. It looks like something's growing in there. I bet it's from the hairspray. Like, let's say a lady had it on, had these on and like spraying her hair and all the gunk got stuck in there and then all the Lint and dust got stuck in there too. Gross. Grody to the max, y'all. All right, here's that one again. So this is a knotted black and gold screw back earring. This one's got some loose threads. Again, I don't think that's a maker's mark in there. Just a, I'll look a little closer. No, just some scuffing. So that is that. This will probably just go into a lot as well. Then that's an earring. Oh, here's the mate. Oh, those are kind of cute. Y'all, these are some candy cane. These are pierced earrings. Again, they look vintage. Because they've got this like candy cane enamel and a bow and a little stone in there. And then they've got that pierced ear. That's kind of nice. I like those. I'm like, I'm like, I almost kind of would like to keep those. I would wear those because they're nice vintage. They're a vintage style, but they're big, you know. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. 
I think these are gonna be some catch and release because I like them. I do. All right, those are for me. <laughs> those get to stay home with mama. Um, I'm gonna wait and see if I see a mate. All right, we've got another ring. We've got a rectangle cut. I think that's an emerald cut with little baguettes on the side. That's a pretty ring. And I see a little mark in there. It looks like an H. Let's take a look closer. And boop. But it's pretty. You know what this looks like? My first marriage. My ring for my first marriage. It looked almost looked very similar to that. Oh my gosh. It really does. Interesting. How about that? Okay, <laughs> we've got another ring, and this one's a, an onyx with a little stone in the center, and there's the back. This is an Avon. You can see it says Avon in there. So, I don't know. I mean, the, the coating on the back of it is wearing off, as you can see, so I don't think I could get uh, too much for that, but I'll look it up. It's cute. Cute, cute. It's got a nice little deco style to it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So far, that little turtle is my favorite. Oh, hello, little cute birdies. Let's see. We have got these little birds. You are missing whatever. Are you missing it too? I guess there's supposed to be like a little stone there. Or maybe, I bet it was a pearl maybe, like to look like a little egg or something. So there's that bird, and there's that bird. Super cute, So, but they'll probably just go into a lot because they're in pretty bad shape. With scuffed up paint and all that, and missing stones, but they're cute. They are. These earrings are nice as well. They are hooked together, let me get them unscrewed so we can really get a good look at them. Unscrew is the other way. And boy, you just don't want to come apart, do you? Hmm. This is the let's watch Margaret fidget with <laughs> earrings part of the program. There we go. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's very elegant, très chic. It looks like it's probably, no, it's not missing a stone there. Let me see. Oh, it is. That one's missing a stone right there. But I like this style. So there's those. Because it's missing the stone, I'll just put them in a lot, you know. But I like them. They're very elegant. Somebody's going to be able to make them into something, though. They're super pretty. Super duper pretty. All right, let's take a peek at these. These are interesting. So they are set, it's these different colored stones, little plastic stones, I'm guessing it's missing one there. And they're set into black, which is unusual, I think. You know? Look at that. That's really unusual. And it makes me wanna smell them to see if they're celluloid or bakelite or something I, I have a feeling they're i'm looking for a seam i don't think they're bakelite just because i don't but i'm gonna smell them anyway no i think i see a seam all right let me smell them i'm gonna rub them on my jeans i'm wearing jeans today which is not usual i smell nothing no they're just plastic regular old plastic but they're cool but yeah, I think because it's missing a stone right there, they'll go into a lot. That's gonna go into a lot. And then we've got this brooch, which has got these gray stones all around. It does not appear to be missing anything. You can't see that, it's too low. How about that? There, isn't that better? Kinda looks like a snowflake. A snowflake or a flower. Let's flip it over. I don't see any maker's mark on that, but I think somebody will still like it. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got these kind of button earrings. I like that. 
And that's the back. These are sweet little bows, okay. Little blue and white bows. Those are really cute. <clears throat> they don't appear to have a whole lot of wear to them. I'm looking at the finish, hang on. On the enamel, they, they look to be in pretty good shape. So I think those will sell. I mean, I don't think they're gonna bring a mint, but you know, I might put 12 bucks or so on those. Cute little bows. And next we've got, um, okay, cool. We've got these red clip-on earrings. They say Germany on the back, so vintage. And they look like this. Cool, I am gonna smell these because I can. Nope, I smell nothing. I smell nothing. All right, just some cute little wavy etched earrings, but those are really cute, right? I'll probably put rockabilly in the, cause they're kind of big too, not giant big, but bigger than some of these little ones, you know what I mean? Like here's the little bows. Looks like we've got one more pair of earrings in here, and then we'll count everything up. Ooh, hello, you are pretty. So, these are some leaves. Leaves. And they have these really pretty Aurora Borealis stones in them. They do not appear to be missing anything. Like that. And no on the maker's mark. Nope, no maker's mark. Just pretty, pretty little leaves. Like that. Pretty. Okay. So I, when I average everything out, I go with, um, I use the total with shipping and handling and everything. So about 30 bucks is what I paid. So let's count up what I got. We got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, uh -oh. eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, come back here you, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and of course, 32. So everything was a little less than a dollar a piece slide it down and so I'm pretty happy with that and I think you know for the price I definitely got a really good deal because probably this one little bit I have a feeling would sell for that you know would pay for the box of everything of course there are some things in here that aren't going to be sellable by themselves but there's plenty of things that will be 
you know, whether they're, you know, $10, $12, $20, $30. But of course, I'm gonna look this up and find out a little bit more about it and see what I think I can get for this. I think this is gonna be the winner. If you think there's something else in this box that is the winner above my little turtle, you let me know because I don't know everything <laughs> and I need you I need you <clears throat> okay so let me know what you thought about this I think I got a great deal tell me what you think and I'll see you on the next one everybody see you later bye